for the jets, for putting under the feet. There's my camera and the camera's right there. Uh, live stream is going to be happening. AB Marker. Greetings, Imperial citizens. Thank you for choosing to watch. I'm Anthony. Today, I'm going to be unboxing these 18 Imperial Troopers. This is a bit of a teaser for my upcoming live stream where I unbox these 300 Imperial Troopers. The date for that is going to be announced at the end of this video, so stay tuned. So why these 18? It's really rather mundane. I just uh, went through all these and any odd number of any particular figure, I just peeled off and put here. With one exception, which you'll see when I get to it, just because it's a cool figure. Without further ado, let's let him breathe. First up is the uh, TIE Fighter Pilot right here. This sculpt was first released in 2009, the Shadows of the Empire Target exclusive TIE Fighter. This particular version is a repaint of a Toys R Us set released in 2011. Lieutenant Oxy... Oxio... Uh, O-X-I-X-O. It's a palindrome. You know, this is an older figure. It definitely can use an upgrade. It was great for its time, but its time is now past. But, you know, it's a nice, nice and solid. Ah, darn, darn, darn blaster. I'll just stick it in the thing there. See? All right. Oops. All right, next up, let's see. We have the uh, Stormtrooper Commander. This is a great figure. It's using the modern Stormtrooper sculpt. And uh, this time with the thin ankles as opposed to the, the first pass, which had thicker ankles. I I'm going to be honest with you. These are great, but... The problem with this figure is, with these ankles, is that the peg hole is pretty insufficient. So it doesn't stand well on stands, which is a problem for me since I have hundreds of figures. It's still really sharp. This is from the Force Unleashed video game, which is a great video game if you haven't played it. It comes with two blasters, two blasters right here, but the laser rifle is a little, a little on the small side. Another great modern sculpt. Alrighty. Next is the carbonized Shore Trooper. You know, the carbonized gimmick, which was a Walmart exclusive or Walmart thing. Love or hate it, this one I actually really like just because he's gold. So it's a variant that I could definitely uh, use as a squad of troopers. Still hasn't found its place in my battalion yet, but uh, I picked up nine of these for squad, and it's definitely going to fit in somewhere. Now, the issue with these troopers is that, again, the ankles or the footholes, they're, they're a little shallow, so they don't stand well on stands, which, again, Bit of a problem for me that I have to stand so many, but you know, I make do sometimes a little bit of gluing the, uh, <laughs> doing a little uh, hot glue to the foot on this side. All right, who we got next? The KX security droid. This thing is really awesome, and I really don't like the fact that it was in the three pack. I would love to have a squad of nine. But, uh, you know, it's expensive to get the 3-pack. Ironically, today, I checked to see if it was on sale by chance, and it was on Amazon for 40 bucks. So I ordered two more. That'll bring me up to six. On the big one, on the live stream, I only have two more to unbox. Actually, the other ones are going to show up in time, so I will have four to unbox for the unboxing video. This was released last year. It's from the video game A Jedi Survivor. It's This is just... Really, really, really cool. It deserves to be released single carded instead of a three pack. All right, next is the Imperial Gunner. This is a repack on a new card. This particular one was one of the uh, five that were released as part of the uh, finished 96 line. It was a Walmart exclusive. 
I did not pile up on these because, uh, to be honest, I am not a huge fan of this sculpt. I mean, it's nice and all, but the one that was released in the Saga line was more solid in my opinion, although it didn't have, uh, wasn't quite as articulated, but for my needs, it's pretty sufficient. It's got its pluses for sure. The vest is nice. The head is a little, little, a little smaller. But sometimes with the articulation, you can overdo it and it compromises the look of the sculpt. But it comes with the Rebel Blaster. I'm clicking on the model number. I've never been good at that. I picked up a few. I'm going to be opening up four more for my live stream unboxing video. All right. Next up, the Remnant Stormtrooper. It's a great figure. Just a repaint of VC-140, uh, Rogue One Stormtrooper. Yes, it's got the thicker ankles. No, it does not have a holster, uh, but it's, you know, it's a dirtied up figure, and I've been using these as uh, sand troopers, so I'm sticking the pauldrons on. Um, the old uh, Saga ones, are, they're, they're a little bit tougher for the head to stand on because they're, they're thicker, but it, it definitely works. I've been modifying the backs on some so that I could put on uh, the backpacks, which begs the question of when is Hasbro going to be releasing a sand trooper in this excellent sculpt? So here we go. Uh, where's the light? Ah, there we go. What is next? I think I've got how many of these? I have a list here. The Remnant Stormtrooper, I have, I'm going to be unboxing eight in uh, my next video. Next up is the carbonized version of the Remnant Stormtrooper. I picked up a few of these and I'm going to be perfectly honest. I, I don't know what to do with them or how they fit into my battalion. This is one of the, I mean, it just doesn't work. The glossiness uh, is a bit of a distraction, unlike the Shore Trooper, which is great. Uh, I did take one of these and I took some goof off and cleaned off all the, the dirtiness just to see how it would turn out. It's okay. Still, it's a Stormtrooper. I shouldn't complain. Still no idea where he fits into my army. Ah, uh, the Incinerator Trooper. This is great. So psyched when this came out, but this was another Walmart exclusive, which was a drag. I think it was one of the, the first that they did. I still remember being on a job and they canceled it. Eventually they re-released them and there was plenty to go around. I'm gonna have about eight more to unbox. They've since updated this figure to the better ankles. But I'm going to be honest, for my purposes, I'm happy to have this uh, thicker ankle because it fits on the stand better. The, the character was first introduced in the uh, Force Unleashed video game. I had a bunch of those from back in the day, back in the uh, Legacy line, the four packs. The fact that it showed up in The Mandalorian and it was upgraded so soon, I mean, this is just great. And plus with an actual flamethrower and not, the, uh, not just a blaster from the video game. All right. Here is the carbonized version of that. Again, this is another one I'm not quite sure what to do with. I have about six of these, or is it eight, that I'm going to be unboxing for the live video. But just with the gleam... I'm not sure what to do with it. I don't know how it fits into my army. Again, this was another Walmart exclusive, and I'm so glad that they haven't announced any more. I'm curious what you guys think about these. Some of them worked. I think a majority of them, they just didn't. Same goes with the Beskar credit line for the 6-inch. They were good at first, but then after a while, it's like, yeah, it's a little bit too much. Uh, got good ankles, fits on the stand really well. And there you go. Here's a, here's a comparison between the uh, carbonized and the non-carbonized versions. There we go. All right. Next up, the Electro Staff Purge Trooper from the Jedi Fallen Order video game. I was uh, really psyched when this first came out. I got about another 
six or eight to open it for the live stream. I had animated this when it came out in a, in a video. It's got a multi-part staff. It's newer bodies, clone trooper phase. Well, it doesn't matter what phase, but with a new airborne trooper helmet, which they, they have, yeah, they have yet to do the clone trooper not the newest body because now they have a, a brand new body so they probably don't even have to worry about doing this kind of version in, in a clone trooper but i'm surprised that they never got to it these will be incorporated somehow as special guards with the electro staffs which are which are pretty cool there we go oh oh oh, oh. can't get the stand yeah we go. all right next up the artillery trooper what a great figure i remember when it showed up in the mandalorian it's just pretty awesome feels to me like it's a precursor to the sand trooper because it's got a hole in the back to fit a backpack all right there right there right there and it's got a lot of accessories and and the thing that that i'm actually surprised in a good way that was done by Hasbro is that including a blaster right there. Let's pop the four cylinders out, which look like the cylinders on the back of their belts. They fit into the uh, backpack like so. Really good engineering on the part of the designers. And let's stick uh, the blaster on them. Put them on a stand. This one has a thinner ankle, so it's definitely going to be a bit of a problem on the stands, but it's still a still really a figure. And one more, one more bit. The ball joint goes into that. Has a flexible, uh, have a flexible base and a little bit of a plain uh, little little stand two pod there. But is it great, great, great figure? All right. Next up, the Scout Trooper from the Jedi Fallen Order video game. I was excited when this came out because at the time it was a really great Scout Trooper sculpt. But all the really good ones from the original VOTC line, or at least it was uh, like the second or the third wave of vintage party figures, uh, you know, that one, the plastic started yellowing. So, you know, that was a real drag for people who had a bunch. They they eventually fixed a problem, and these guys are definitely, uh, so far, not yellowing. But the issue is that they did not put all the painting details as they did with the original vintage collection released, or the, you know what they were calling it before 2010. Fairly solid sculpt, just not the painting detail that they could have done. It's just not there. But cool accessories. Now, next up is this uh, recent companion piece, the riot stormtrooper from jedi survivor it's basically it's the same figure except it includes this shield it, it is a really good accessory but again it's basically a repackage of the one of the uh, scout trooper that i just opened just you know the the painting is just not not as great but this one comes with a blaster you get a little bit more bang for your buck Clips on like that. There we go. Stick them on a stand. Blast her back in there. But just cool figure. Again, the draw for this one is having this shield. Right, Scout Trooper. There we go. Um, here's one of my favorite recent Imperial figures, the Obi-Wan Kenobi Purge trooper this is just a nice figure it's an update obviously of the electro staff purge trooper they're calling it the phase two armor it's basically it's the same body but a brand new uh, helmet it's really great and i like the colors it's just i don't know what it is but it's more solid than its uh, predecessor the electro staff purge trooper Stick it on a stand here. It's got a it's got a really decent peg hole. It doesn't come with the proper blaster though. In the the show, I think if I'm not mistaken, it came with the same blaster that the Death Troopers came with. But this is a uh, really great. Let's compare it here to. Uh, let's 
compare it here to the Electro Staff Purge Trooper. I mean, there's something about it. The Phase 2 is just much, much more solid. I've got one more. I'm opening two of those just because they are so cool. I remember when I did my last unboxing video. No, not my last one, but when I did my first one, I had a few figures that had gotten rare at the time I was opening, and I had a number of comments like, oh my god, how could you open those? They're, they're worth a lot. You know, I'm, I'm doing this because the Army is my thing. It's a fun pastime. Uh, here is number two. Number two, Purge Trooper. All right, getting there. We've got the... Imperial Stormtrooper. There's another Walmart exclusive. This is the uh, one with the uh, web cannon. It's a, it's a cool little set, but the thing is, is that the cannon is a complete resculpt, and it's, it's a tad on the small side from what we've gotten previously. I'm not 100% sure how to feel about that. The figure itself, it's the small ankle Stormtrooper. I'm not opening any of the uh, heavy stormtroopers that come with the with the gun and uh, with the big uh, Gatling gun and the um, the shield, but they're basically the same figure except for the paint. I'll show you here in a second. For some reason, like the face grill, right, right, right here, I look to be a little overblown here, uh, lighting wise. But it's all black on the other version. This one's all filled in, so that's how you tell the difference between them. But they both have thin ankles. A bit of build with the tripod. Um, taking a second to remember how to do this. It's not very complicated. It breaks apart unlike the uh, ones that we've had previously where you stick the legs on and then you're kind of stuck with it. Oh, that's right. The front leg it can only go on the front leg. There we go. Then you got this handle piece here. A little place for it on the front leg. It's actually, you get some bang for your buck for this set. I mean, it's like about 25 bucks. Uh, I mean, maybe, I mean, like 14 bucks for the Stormtrooper at the time. So the rest of that was uh, for the gun. It's a little on the small side, like I said. You know, stick the uh, blast on there and then uh, plug it in. And right underneath. It is a cool set. I have, uh, I'm going to be unboxing, I think, seven more. No, obviously, it has to be at least eight more if I'm doing the odds and evens things. All right, next up is the Dark Trooper, which this is a really great set. I mean, Dark Troopers were really great to see in The Mandalorian, and this deluxe set is, is perfect, really, because it comes with a little uh, hibernation chamber or the recharge chamber or... Um, Programming chamber, or whatever, however you do it. Figures are pretty solid. I think they're a little taller. taller are they? Nope, they're not taller than everybody else. I remember being really excited when I saw this at Comic Con. It was the uh, short little one that they did after COVID. Um, let's see here. I did the one unboxing video, and I know that this was a little on the tricky side to stick to. Together. Let's hope I have better luck here. These are great. They all interconnect, so you could recreate the, the setting from the Mandalorian. These little hooks here, plug in and hold it steady. And it comes with a bunch of accessories. So I use my old man eyes to look at the uh, fine detail here. It is a little bit tough to get into. Bear with me. Talk, talk to some looks yourselves. Man, it's tough. There we go. All right, great. So that's in. This one comes with a comes with a blaster. Comes with jets for putting under the feet, and then two alternate hands, fists, so they could be bashing down doors. You get a lot of bang for your buck. For as expensive figures are coming, this is a pretty decent set. And then we come down to the last item, the speeder bike. Here we go. This is a great set, albeit overpriced. That said, I, I have right directly behind me, I'm going to be opening eight. Luckily, I've got a bunch on sale and clearance. The speeder bike in and of itself, the speeder bike is great. I mean, they just updated it perfectly. Far, far, far better than the uh, Toys R Us version. It comes with a carded Scout Trooper figure. This is a little bit of a revamp. This is not completely new which is a bit of a shame. We'll get to that in a second. So let's talk quickly about the speeder bike. 
This is a top to bottom re-sculpt. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It's very similar to the Toys R Us version from the early 2010s. You can see the engine. It doesn't have the exploding feature from our childhoods, but this part comes up. It does it, it does break apart a little bit, but not. it's not quite as fun as, uh, as the olden days. As the uh, flaps and then the foot things don't they don't move like they used to. Uh, it has a stand where you have three modes, high, uh, low, medium. This is far and away better than the early version from Toys R Us, which was good, but it's just hard to describe when you have them uh, side by side. This one is just, this one's the bomb. And then there's the figure. They redid the legs and they redid the helmet. The helmet is bigger because if you compare it to the older version, uh, I'll show you in a second. Um, just a size comparison. All right, like that. So that's older version, smaller, uh, bigger. But here's the thing. This is the only thing that bothers me is that there's it seems to be no quality control in terms of scale because oh, where'd the blaster go? You could see how the difference in height. It's just a, it's a drag. He, he sticks out like a sore thumb when I put him in the rest, but I have a bunch. The blaster, I'm told, is down here, which I will retrieve later. Well, that's it. Let's see. Let's uh, start sticking some of these guys together. No particular order. And uh, these stands have been a godsend. Not that I necessarily mean to be plugging anybody but these stands are from marauder gun runners i keep getting to ask that a lot so if you're if you're still here you're still watching and you're still wondering where these uh come from marauder gun runners number one just so that they uh the inner lock a little bit better Hey, testing that leg just a little bit, a little, little stiff. They just took their first breaths. Ah! See, this is what I mean about the uh, pegs not being all that great. I promise I'm going to be divulging when my live stream is going to happen because I don't know which is less exciting for you guys. Watch me in real time. Futs with all my figures or futs with them a lot. The ankles are killing me here on this uh, on this particular sculpt. See, a little, a little too small here. And uh, artillery trooper, dark trooper. And that's all for this communique. My live stream is happening on September. Uh, where's where's my camera? my camera? I regret nothing. Live stream is going to be happening September. Second, that is a Saturday at 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Joining me is going to be my uh, my partner. I'm not the only one who's responsible for all the content on the Imperial Communique. My girlfriend, Virginia, has been contributing very heavily to all the gags. So anything funny that you see is pretty much Virginia. Yeah, come, come on. Say hi. So in addition to uh, the lovely uh, Virginia here, I'm also going to have my friend Jeff. We've been collecting together for countless years. We, obviously, we, we met collecting. He has a great collection. More details to come. So until then, do your part for the Empire. Like, subscribe, share. Follow me on Instagram. It pains me to say X, the app formerly known as Twitter. TikTok, if I haven't said it Please leave a comment below and await the next transmission. Today, we're going to be opening up these 18 Imperial Troopers. And it feels like I said opening up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. got that. Today, we're going to be opening them up. We're going to be opening them up. Opening, opening up, opening up, up opening, opening up. up. What am I saying? Opening my... Today, we're going to be opening them up. Today, we're going to be unboxing these 18 Imperial Troopers.